talking AB here on the NAMM showroom floor. We are at Audinate. I am with Carl Himmelman, who's the uh, channel sales manager of Audinate. I'm sure everybody's heard of Dante, whether you have an existing Dante setup or you are kind of dipping your toes in the water. We're here to answer some questions and find out the great new things at Audinate. So Carl, why don't you take it away? Tell us the new stuff that you are very excited about. Yeah, so here at the show, what we're really trying to highlight uh, are the AVO adapters. So AVO adapters, if you don't have any experience with uh, with Dante, it's a great sort of like jumping off point. It's a great way to dip your toe in the water, build a small Dante network, and start incorporating some of the Dante enabled, some of the gear that doesn't have Dante built in already. So it's a, you know, if you're a recording studio or a live sound production space and you want to start, you know, getting your Dante network built, it's a great way to slowly sort of bring those devices in onto the network and that sort of thing. If you're a pro and you have a huge Dante network, you're always going to find yourself where you need a couple extra channels, you need to test something. Those adapters are a great way to uh, to offer that. So we have a variety of analog connections, uh, AES, um, and then USB and Bluetooth too. So if you're in a conferencing type of setup and you don't want to have you know hassle with uh, drivers or you know installed software or anything like that, those are a great way to like you know plug your your laptop, your tablet, uh, your computer in and get signal from that computer onto the network there. How does it work? Like what what happens? What is actually happening? to enable like Dante on, on systems that don't necessarily have. Yeah, sure. So effectively it's a, it's a Dante adapter, right? So um, what you can do is, you know, say you have, uh, you know, a, a pair of powered speakers or a microphone preamp or something like that that just has those analog connections on there. Um, you know, a Dante as a technology is about leveraging the power of a network. So all it's doing is taking that analog signal or the USB signal from your computer and then getting that signal onto that network. Uh, and then you can kind of go from there. You can buy more adapters, buy other Dante enabled gear and kind of grow your system, which uh, allows it to be more flexible and, you know, sort of more in line with 21st century technology. That's wild. And so for the people that aren't familiar with Dante and you're, or maybe you've heard of it, you're like, what is, it's basically your audio. It's, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a digital feed through an ethernet cable, right? Exactly. Yeah. So you would have, you know, say like your home network, right? You'll see your laptop, your phone, maybe a printer or something like that. And the, the power of that network is being able to communicate with all of those devices at the same time. Taking that to sort of the next level, you would bring in something like managed Dante, right? So when uh, when we're talking about systems that are, you know, hundreds or, or thousands of devices on a network, you know, it's, uh, you need sort of a management layer to be able to break those into, you know, logical domains, push out firmware updates and that sort of thing. So we're talking about, you know, kind of the other end of the spectrum now, but but really sort of advanced networking uh, tasks that need to happen, uh, being able to do that from, you know, one place uh, and sort of manage all of your Dante assets uh, with that piece of software. Okay. And this is, I mean, think of large venues or, uh, you know, wedding venues or studios that are running so many lines, uh, productions, film productions, like campuses, financial institutions. So, you know, conferencing is a, is a, a big customer for you know, someone who, who needs to be able to break, have a ton of devices on their network, you know, whether it be a skyscraper or a campus or something like that, uh, but then break them down into, you know, mini conference rooms or, um, you know, communications layer, something like that. Yeah. And there's also like, there's such great audio capability with it. There's also video capability. And we're talking hundreds, thousands of feeds over one line, over one Dante line. Yeah. So we, for audio, yes. Yeah. For audio. Sorry. Yes. Yes. Bandwidth was a little bit different, but, you know, we're getting there. We're, we're sort of at the, the forefront of, of what's possible in, in terms of uh, video on the network. So our goal as a company is to um, is to be, you know, the sort of unquestioned leader in the AV over IP space. So I think a lot of people, their familiarity with Dante is on the, the audio side. And so over the past couple of years, uh, you know, we've introduced more and more video products to the network. And you can think of it in the exact same way. I mean, even like the tagline behind us. It's everything you know and love about Dante, but now for video. So now your cameras, your powered speakers, um, your DSPs, everything that you would uh, need on an AV network is all available in Dante controller. It works the same way. You can route independently, just like you could if it was a purely audio setup. So we've really tried to, to make it one layer of software, not overthink it, just incorporate video in the same sort of way. And for those people wanting to dip their toe in the water, what is the, is there any, um... It, it, does the audio get affected? Like, what, like, like, speak on that about like it's it's very minimal if no latency, right? And also no no lack of quality in audio. Yeah, so completely uncompressed audio. So what you put in is exactly what you get out on the other side. And so, uh, you know, whether you're using 
uh, you know, an adapter like this or, you know, a boutique converter that has, you know, extremely uh, high quality, you're, you're going to uh, preserve that quality on there. Video is a, is a completely different animal. And uh, effectively on the video side, we have three different uh, codecs that we try to support. So we have Jante AV Ultra, which is the lowest latency, it's the highest quality, and that uses uh, one of our chipsets, right? Um, the other end of the spectrum is gonna be Dante AVH. So for PTZ cameras uh, that use like a H.264, H.265, really popular in conferencing, yep. digital signage, like that sort of thing, um, that, that uses our firmware. So it's not a hardware solution. You know, they have uh, you know cameras from some of the companies that we work with install our firmware, and that makes that existing product discoverable on the Dante network. That's so cool. So imagine you're, imagine you're a stage manager or you're a production manager or something. Don't avoid the rat's nest. It's one cable that yeah. needs to go from point to point. I just five minutes ago, I had a conversation with someone who was in the live sound space. And we were talking about digital snakes and how that has been like a huge improvement uh, from, you know, running, you know, a three inch yeah. copper cable around. So having that one Ethernet connection from the stage, going back to the console, being able to wrap everything up get on a plane and unpack it really quickly is, uh, is, you know, a huge, a huge benefit for them. It is. And it cleans up your space. Uh, can we go take a look at, oh wait, there might be, might be a little packed right now, but yeah. Okay. Let's squeeze in. I would love to see these avios here. They're like Dante on the go almost. Yeah. Uh, but you know, we have, uh, mono and stereo connections for analog in and out. So four different devices for that. Um, AES, which is great for like attaching to maybe a DSP or a digital console that doesn't have Dante in it. Yep. Um, and then the USBs and the Bluetooth are great for that, like bring your own device. So let's say someone's giving a lecture, they're up the lecture and you have like a little USB connection there. They can plug their tablet or computer in and basically their computer that they're giving their presentation from is now Dante enabled. So they don't have to install any software or anything like that. It's just one connection. Um, obviously that works in a, a conferencing scenario as well. And then Bluetooth is the same concept, but wirelessly. So now you can pair your your phone, tablet, uh, laptop, and you get the same benefit. That's awesome. And then what else was it that you were telling us about that's new that uh, that that you're very excited about? So um, not new, although we, we do have a new version coming out because we're constantly sort of updating feature sets and, and that sort of thing, uh, is Dante Domain Manager. And so that's our uh, sort of like enterprise managed Dante solution. So as I was saying, um, let's, let's do this. I think this is a good analogy. If we look at Dante Controller, which many people will be familiar with, it's our free application and it's sort of how you interact with Dante. So you do your subscriptions, so all of your routing, um, you manage things like uh, your latency, your uh, sample rates, things like that. So if, you know, here we have four or five different devices uh, on the network. If you had 500, which we see all the time now, I mean, it's, it's much more common than you would imagine. We're talking about, you know, tens of thousands of cross points. And so that's a lot of scrolling and a lot of opportunity to make a mistake. So the big thing with Dante Domain Manager is pairing these things down into more manageable different sites. So the uh, you as a, a user of Dante Domain Manager can construct how big those are, what you call them, how many you want, all of that sort of thing. Um, and then the, the other aspect of that is user authentication. So that provides security, but then also you can kind of control uh, who has access to which domains. So if we're talking about a college campus, the people that are in building A are only really gonna need to interact with those devices. They don't need to see everything on the, the entire network. Um, so they get to see and have control over the things that are relevant to them. But then the person who is the IT administrator is able to sort of manage everything. So that means if something needs a firmware update, they don't need to get in the golf cart and go across campus and start unplugging stuff. They can just click a box the firmware update gets pushed out. And they kind of manage everything from one centralized location. That is unbelievable. Uh, Carl, thank you so much. Uh, we really appreciate it. All things routing, device routing, audio, video routing. It's all here at Audinate. Try out Dante and stay tuned for more from Full Compass. <laughs>